that, Piper will come back. We'll go through to dinner. We'll have a nice dinner. Piper will take us out of dinner. Uh, and then we'll come back uh, in here for a, a really fun video. So with that, I'll turn it over to you. Jessica Crosby to present the House Awards, the House Championship, and also the Wooden Spoon. <laughs> Thank you. 
finding their musical talents and who openly shares their love of music with the Harleston community. This semester's award goes to a student who has played with both the string group and the two woodwind players. He has been reliable, arrived for several rehearsals, well prepared, and even when a badly bruised finger cramped his style, he still turned up and played to the best of his ability. He is an accomplished pianist who is willing to try whatever music was put in front of him and made a valuable contribution to discussion about musical issues during rehearsals. To uh, those who have the pleasure of performing with him, said his sensitive accompanying made it a joy to make music with him. Please join me in congratulating Mark Musina this semester. <laughs>
large house like I do, surpassed by the number of fire drills we've had, or the number of times you can hear Ross laughing from your room. <laughs> Jokes aside, we've had a pretty exciting time here at Harlison. Throughout the semester, we've watched basketball and volleyball games that have kept us on the edge of our seat, improv while improving friendships, spoke at open mic nights that moved us to tears, studied, or sorry, studied in the Schrader Lounge, watched a lot of movies in the Pearson Pit and Bistro. We had an important election that we were all very heavily invested in, the House Captain election. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter who won the House competition, we will not remember the points, but the personalities that made each house so unique. We won't focus on Newton being in last, but the personalities that are, will focus on the incredible passion that was displayed by their players during sports games. We'll remember the beautiful blanket that Mercia knit, Pegasus's interesting nickname for a household of even more interesting people, <laughs> and Gregory. <laughs> The memories we've made extend far past the elegant walls of Harlotston. We've had an amazing semester full of travels. From Tottenham to Turkey, the memories also extend far past England's borders. We've seen iconic sites that are previously limited to pictures and textbooks and images on the internet with our own two eyes. We've created a database of lived experiences and personal accounts with our combined knowledge. We saw history. If you ever doubted that the pyramids in Egypt were real, questioned the existence of Stonehenge, or wondered how colossal the Colosseum is in Rome, you have at least six days to find out on your fellow classmates and get a first-hand account. We celebrated culture. We burned bonfires on Guy Fawkes nights, uh, partied on Oktoberfest in Germany, and even partook in the culture of Amsterdam's red light district. <laughs> but most importantly, we had fun. We saw our favorite band at Alexandra Palace in London. Others watched our favorite football or soccer teams in their stadiums. And a particularly impressive one of us ran an original marathon course from Marathon to, from marathon to Athens, Greece. Others were more of Netflix marathon kind of people. <laughs> we saw where Harry Potter, Pride and Prejudice, Game of Thrones, and The Lord of the Rings scenes were filmed. Ate at the pubs where C.S. Lewis, J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, and got a drink at the cavern where the Beatles performed. We saw celebrities like Matthew Lewis, who played Neville, Long Neville Longbottom, Bago Chips, the drag king of Brighton, Tom Baker, the fourth doctor from Doctor Who, Anthony Hopkins, Hannibal from the film, Patrick Stewart, Professor X, and Sir Isaac McKellen, Gandalf. We got loose at the goose, dabbed in Dublin, Instagrammed in Ireland, took Snapchats in Spain, posted Facebook updates in France, and this isn't even all the places that we visited this semester. Croatia, Belgium, Morocco, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Malta, Poland, the list goes on. And while our bank accounts may have dropped lower than Luke Kelly and the Bistro on Mont Wednesdays, <laughs> our students have been made almost as high as all the students who returned from Amsterdam. It's okay, it's a little And alongside the physical journeys, we've taken emotional ones. New relationships form, old relationships fall apart. We made the best of friends, we made questionable friends. <laughs> While we were here, new lives were welcomed into the world and old ones departed. We did part in a country led by the left and will enter one ruled by the right. But through all this change, some things remain constant. Like a full English breakfast being served in the morning, Sunday through Friday, Sunday roast dinners, or Sean's dedication to wearing Birkenstocks despite the temperature outside. <laughs> We've made a name for ourselves. We made many names for ourselves, such as Mulia, Chicken Tender Jesus, Greater Staz and Nikki, White Sugar, Hot Donna, Danger, I Love Me 23, Harleston Hotties, Har Blackston, Bar Quad, Star Squad, The Leader Society, Glitter Ass, Harleston Savages, The Offit, and finally Colt 45. <laughs> but no matter what name you may have given your friends or your friend group, it all means the same thing, a family. We've created bonds that have gone beyond borders, and though we may be leaving Harleston, we have all left an impact on the school and each other that will last long past our departure. So Harleston, class of fall 2016, the class that thought the bistro shut down for a week, <laughs> the class that should have looked up the way most likely to fall asleep in lecture, the class that helped me write this speech, I'll end in the words of our beloved Professor Amber. You can clap for me now. <laughs>
part, so I introduced myself. <laughs> I did actually find my speech. Very useful. So, here we are in December, and it seems like only yesterday when we were in August and saying hello to one another. And it does truly, time truly does fly. In August, I welcomed you here on behalf of the faculty, and as I mentioned, lost my speech. In it, um, from memory, I explained how you were on a journey, and my god, what a journey it's been by the side of it. Um, <laughs> you were likely, and indeed did, experience great changes. And uh, to, many, to, to a great extent, we understood that. And probably some of the stuff we don't want to know about, we've understood too. Um, but we'd have understood that because, like you, we as a nation are on a journey too, and we're experiencing great change, as you've seen in the last four, eight, four months. Um, even today itself, a bill was published requiring the British government to inform the EU of our decision to leave on the 31st of March 2017. By March 2017, you'll be home. You'll be back on your campuses across the United States. But we hope, as a faculty, that our brief time of journeying together will have inspired you to continue on your journeys. We hope that studying about Britain has given you some insights into the questions that are going to dominate the 21st century. Where do I belong? What do I identify with? Who do I identify with? And that finding answers to these questions will help guide your future journeys. Speaking for myself and on behalf of the British Studies team and the faculty of Harleston College, it has been a genuine pleasure to meet you, to get to know you, and to work with you. And so to conclude my little section, I'd like to quote some lines from J.R.R. Tolkien and the Fellowship of the Wing. <laughs> the road goes ever on and on, down from the door where it began. Now far ahead the road has gone, and I must follow if I can, pursuing it with eager feet until it joins some larger way, where many paths and ends meet, but whither then, I cannot say. And that is for you to decide. <laughs> I would now like to present remarks on behalf of the staff, given by me.
very good evening, everybody. I had the pleasure in welcoming you all on behalf of the local community back in August uh, when we all arrived here at Carlton Manor. My word, how time flies. It only seems a few weeks ago when we were all together on that occasion. Since that evening, you have all now become part of our local community. During your time here living at the manor, all of you will have become involved with many day-to-day -day experiences in and around the area of Grantham. Many of you have been part of the Meta family experience, enjoying being part of the British family. Many of you will have travelled to so many places during your stay with us. We do hope you have all had a wonderful fall semester, which you will remember for the rest of your lives. You are all so important to the community in and around Grantham area, and it is an honour and a privilege for the local residents to have had you in residence here at Alexton Manor. May I, on behalf of the local community, say thank you to all of you for coming over the pond to experience your stay here in the British Isles, and especially here in this wonderful English country house known as Harvardston Manor. In the next week or so, you will all be travelling back to the States, have a safe journey home, and I hope you will all never forget your Harvardston experience. They make up rhymes to shame them. <laughs> if you 
You know this one? Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. <laughs> That's the rhyme about Guy Fawkes. <laughs> so Newton, here's your rhyme of shame. <laughs> remember, remember the 1st of December. Conspiracy, insolence, insolence, and plot. I see no reason why Newton's failed season should ever be forgot. <laughs>
Like it or not, most of us don't like it. Distress is a very real part of study abroad. It's a wide range of types of heard a few mentioned already. Failed plans, failed relationships, forgotten keys, botched exam, scrapes and headaches, cuts, bumps, broken bones. It's a game you lost and you think you should have won. There's a candidate you supported who didn't prevail. There's illness, there's loneliness, sadness, and sometimes, unfortunately, there's even worse. So yes, distress is an undeniable element of study abroad. It's a hard thing to deal with, but it is also a key factor in your personal growth. As Gandalf said, not all tears are evil. So along with the honeymoon stage and the stress, we spoke of reintegration at the beginning, being part of culture shock. And what reintegration means, it means rejecting the new and clinging almost possess possessively to what you knew before, to the old. And we spoke of autonomy and eventually independence. So those are the five stages, remember, of culture shock. The honeymoon stage, distress, reintegration, autonomy, and independence. It can take a lot longer than a semester to work through that entire cycle. I know that. And I do recognize that whatever particular distress we as individuals may have felt this semester, it will take some of us longer to work through it. Still, I imagine we're having fun tonight. 